let's see a very common problem for a competitive exam gate ies uh, from the portion of axially loaded members so here what we have is a sleeve and a bolt and there are two rigid plates fixed at the ends and uh, there's a nut and bolt arrangement so in this problem what we have is the cross section where we have the steel in the center which is having an outer diameter of 20 mm a solid steel rod it's basically a bolt and there is a sleeve which is made of brass having 30 and 40 as the inside and outside diameters so the property young smallest of the brass and the steel material is given 200 gigapascal and 97 gigapascal and the question is asked is that when this bolt is over tightened for a length of 1 mm what will be the stress that will be developed in bolt and the sleeve so when we get such a problem you should think that when this bolt is uh, tightened to the exact amount there won't be any stresses at all because it will be like a uh, snug tight but when there is an uh, over tightening what happens is that stress will be developed in both the bolt and the sleeve so now you need to think what is happening here because this is a complicated case that you need to uh, understand so here when we over tighten this particular nut what happens is that this is a rigid plate which means that it won't be having bending it will be moving as a single unit or a rigid unit so the, as this cannot bend what happens is that this rod will be getting elongated this bolt steel bolt that we have provided in the center will be elongated so that this can accommodate this over tightening so when this is over tightened this bolt will be experiencing a tensile stress and when this is over tightened the sleeve will be experiencing a compressive stress so this is a bit confusing so i will uh, show you one system that will help you to understand this particular problem in a better way so i have created a system which is similar to the action what is happening so here what we have is a one end which is fixed and i have a brass rod or a sleeve okay and there is bolt now I have connected a rigid plate here this uh, one in white is a rigid plate and I have provided a hinge at the center so now what happens is that when I apply a force say I apply a force P here on application of this force as this is hinge this particular member will try to rotate okay and if I want to show the rotation say the final position let it be like this and as it is a rigid member it won't be bending okay so this is the final position and you can see here there is a deformation of delta okay and as this is rigid and the hinges placed exactly at center this is also going to be delta now we need to think about this particular case when i applied a force p because of this force the force is tensile in the bolt or this particular member in red and I applied a tensile force it creates a compressive effect in this blue member or sleeve and if you are observing you can say that the force generated in the blue member which is compressive in nature is also P okay and this will be moving to the same amount delta this is exactly what is happening here so when we are tightening the steel member is experiencing a tensile effect and this sleeve is experiencing a compressive effect and the total effect is delta. So now you can see this case. So here this delta is contributed by the elongation of steel and the compression of sleeve. So I can write this as delta is equal to delta bolt plus delta sleeve this deformation what we are getting is the effect of elongation and compression so we can put it as delta equal to delta bolt plus delta sleeve this is exactly what we require to solve this problem that is given here area of steel is equal to pi by 4 times 20 square well, which, I'm, which is going to fetch me a value of uh, 314.16 
mm square. Similarly, area of brass that is pi by 4 times 40 square, okay, which is the outside diameter minus 30 square. So that's going to give me a value 549.77 mm square. So I have the areas, I have the E values. Now I can simply use this relationship what we have written here. That is total deformation equal to delta bolt plus delta sleeve. The total deformation is given in the problem as 1 mm. So I can write 1 mm is equal to what is delta bolt? Delta bolt will be the elongation in bolt caused due to the load P. So I can write it as P is the force. The basic expression for delta is P L by A. So L is given as 700 mm. So P times 700 divided by area is available. That is 314.16 times E. It is given as 200 gigapascal, which is basically 2 times 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square plus the force in sleeve is also P because it is kind of a action and reaction. So it's going to be P again the length of sleeve is same as that of bolt times area is different which is 549.77 and the E value is also different it is 97 gigapascal or 0.97 times 10 raised to 5. And if I solve this equation, the only unknown is P. I'm going to get the value of P as 17570.4 Newton. Now, once we have the value of P, stress is load by area. Load in the bolt is P, load in the sleeve is P. So now I just need to get the stress, that is stress bolt is equal to P by area of steel. Similarly, stress sleeve is equal to P divided by area of brass. And if I do that math, I'm going to get this value sigma bolt as 55.92 mega pascal, that is Newton per mm square. Similarly, the stress in steel is going to be 31.96 mega pascal a lot of problems has been asked making use of this concept which can be visualized in this manner for easy understanding and solution thank you